crystal the raw spiritual guru coming through with your weekly y'all we are going into a new year can you believe 2020 is over 2021 let's all manifest a great 2021 guys okay so first and foremost if you're girl crystal thank you for coming to the ic this is my metaphysical channel if you like any of the jewelry you see i got on i hand make them myself i have a metaphysical shop the link is down below www.rootsoflife123.com come out and support your girl it's much appreciated all right guys so let's get started so this is going to be for the week of the 27th to the second Whew. So this is going into the new year. We want to light some fresh sage to clear out the energy space and get this ready and popping, y'all. How was your 2020, to say the least? I know a lot of people went through different things. I feel like everyone had a test to go through. I feel like everyone had a test to go through in 2020 and whatever the test you went through was solely your test. But I just feel like 2020 challenged a lot of people. So with this energy of 2021, right, we're going into to the age of Aquarius, which is the age of technology, um, AI. So just be cautious with that, you know, as well. This is the opportune time to learn like a new computer skill or something like that, um, you know. But anyway, let's get on to your reading, guys. Okay, so let's see what the energy for this week will bring, okay? The 27th to January 2nd. I definitely believe, yeah, to January 2nd, okay? And I will be doing a separate full moon video. The full moon is on the 29th of december and it's in the full moon is in cancer and sebek okay so i will be doing a separate reading for that i was going to combine it but i was like no it's going to be too long so we want to separate it okay so let's get to your weekly let me stop chatting okay <laughs> please give me some give me the main energy for my subscribers for the week of Oh, blessings, blessings on blessings on blessings. Hey, blessings on blessings on blessings. Hey, oh, we got blessings, guys. So you got the Ace of Pentacles for your overall energy going into the week of the 27th. So that is a beautiful energy. You should be expecting a lot of unexpected blessings, money. A lot of luck is on your side at this time. Gifts. You may have been looking for like any type of um new job maybe you want to leave your job maybe you was um oh my gosh y'all another ace another new beginning <sighs> so you got the ace of wands so you got the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands yo you are popping hey, i'm claiming this energy this week y'all what <laughs> <laughs> all right so one more for the overall energy for the week of the 27th to the second please yo you are literally popping you have a lot of good great energy on your side like i said you might be having like new jobs coming through you might be searching to get a new home um whatever the new home would be to you i know a lot of people are um you know looking to like get like rvs and vans and things like that i know me myself i was considering doing something like that just to really travel um to see um the u.s you know more so than anything um but you might be getting a new home you might be getting you know some gifts you might be working on new projects if you're a business owner you might be in a real world creative mode mindset you are achieving a lot of goals I, like i said i see a lot of success new beginnings and changes coming your way um you have like a, a spark of inspiration you have a lot of different business ideas that could become life changing. So if you've been thinking about um, certain business ideas or a particular business idea that you want to come to light, I say now is the time. This week, the 27th to the 2nd, is definitely the time to um, manifest that into your reality. One thing what people don't really understand with the... Um, you know um new year even though i believe the new year starts with the spring um equinox but uh if you celebrate the new year january 31st 
you want to live your new year how you want your 2021 to live so if you're out partying and sexing then that's how your 21 is going to be if you're if you're interacting on a spiritual level with self if you're literally praying meditating and fasting that's how your 2021 is going to break so however you bring in your new year going into your new year the 2021 that's how you going to basically manifest the following year so it's really up to you what type of energy you put into your december 31st going into your january 1st okay that's just a little tidbit <laughs> but Minus these ace energies, which are new beginnings of success, glory, and all that. You also have the nine of wine energy. So the nine of wine energy being here is letting me know that even though you have a lot of good things coming to you, you you were fighting hard. This year, you were fighting hard. So it's like, it's basically telling me that the fight is over. You are approaching your finish line. Um you are triumphant after all the challenges that you went through like you literally you may have been hurt but it didn't kill you so that phrase would kill what didn't kill you make you stronger you literally are embodying that and you are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel with both of these aces coming out as your new beginnings as success as basically a lot of different achievements that's going to come your way so don't give up now since you fought so hard you definitely don't want to give up now now is the time for you to push harder and push faster you know what i'm saying this is the time that you literally want to uh water you want to water all this beautiful energy that's coming to you because maybe you did go through a lot of um Maybe you did go through a lot of trying times in your 2020. You know, it has, like I said, it has been a year of challenges for everybody in different ways, you know. Someone, everyone was affected in a way or another. Even if you had a great year in 2020, you still was affected by 2020 in some way or another, you know. So, all right. So, <clears throat> okay. So, you got the two of earth which is the two of pentacles and you got the king of earth which is the king of pentacles so as okay so four came out you got the knight of air which is the knight of swords as well as the knight of water which is the knight of swords so i didn't want to say this but you got love coming in too <laughs> okay so with the king of earth as well as the knight of waters these are both um, love cards so basically uh, you might be um it's no gender in tarot so you might be meeting someone that's going to be a long-term partner maybe you've been manifesting or asking the divine to bring in your soulmate or your lifelong partner your husband your wife but you're going to be meeting someone that's going to be um um very generous and practical they um are hard worker they literally embody work but they embody like a long-term commitment as well um you know this will be a very successful time for you to actually um see the opportunities that you have around you in love and actually really weed them out as to what it is that you truly want in love so um if someone do come to you with an offer and you feel like it might be too good to be true, believe in the impossible at this time because nothing is too good to be true. Um, like I said, you are embodying literally the Midas touch with these aces. So it's kind of that energy that you could kind of have what you want. And with this night of water, um, like I said, this is the night that's always offering their cup of love. So you have a long-term lover and the night that's always offering their cup of love. So I really don't see any playing games i feel like um it could possibly be even a proposal that come from this love connection with a person that you meet in the upcoming future or if you are in a connection right now you guys might have balanced your emotions to get to a stable place and it could be also like um a wedding proposal coming up but i definitely see that you are falling in love with someone um but because you had fought so much in 2020 like i said 
you don't really know if all these good things that are coming your way are really coming your way for you. Like you're like, you know, the not the nine of wands is the girl literally holding the stick looking like this. So that's how you look. You just looking like what's next? Cause I'm ready. You know, just let your guard down a little bit. Cause with this two of earth, I still feel like you're juggling in between that energy. It's like, should you stay? Should you go? Should you accept these offers or should you just let it rock? Like it's like kind of in a stuck confused state. It's like, you don't know what you want to do or it's because you're juggling so much do you even have time for all these new changes that's coming in your life because all you know is fight you just know how to be on a stance like what's up i'm ready but you need to literally let your guards down because with this two of earth energy i feel like you're juggling it's like you're conflicted with this two of earth energy and then this knight of sword energy because with the knight of swords you can literally see clear cut you can see things as is you think thinking more logically <clears throat> but with the two of earth energy you feel like too many things are com coming to you at once that you know you need to make a decision but you don't know how to make decisions thoroughly right now because you're always on i'm ready mode so i'm just telling you to take a deep breath you know things may occur for you very fast at this moment with all these new beginnings and blessings that's due to you so just take some time to carefully review your options um it's okay to not make quick decisions, okay? Even if you want to say yes or no, sometimes just give yourself some time and just allow the scenario to play out, um, especially when it comes to like um, meeting someone new, you know what I'm saying? Because in the beginning, everyone always show you their representative. <laughs> and then you get to know them for a couple months, you'll be like, <laughs> you could even be like this. Oh. So that's what she was about. I knew it was something. I knew it was something. Or you could be like, this is too good to be true. <laughs> you got one of those reactions. You heard me, but something like that. Um, But yeah, you know, you deserve it. It looks like you've been through a lot. And at the end of the day, you have a lot of beautiful blessings coming your way. So don't, don't give up on those, okay? Just allow them to flow to you effortlessly, okay? Just be an acceptance. Put that stick down a little bit and welcome them, okay? So any additional messages when it comes to love from the romance angels, please give me any additional messages with these kings, this king of earth and knight of water. Y'all like my onesie? I'm a Dalmatian. It's not a cow. It's not a cow. It's a Dalmatian. Okay. <laughs> okay. So forgiving and learning. Let your friends help you. And one additional card, please. Okay. Religious factors. Okay. So when it comes to this new relationship that either is coming your way or a current relationship that you are currently in, um, what the romance angels is saying, you need to forgive and learn. So as you as you release and heal the past, the experiences that you have and love will be more beneficial to you in the moment. So sometimes we hold on to past energy that we need to release. You know, I I realized that with myself, I worked on myself a lot. I've done a lot of shadow work, and that's important, especially on your journal, on your journey to um, you know, self mastery. Because how are you gonna want to be with someone else or know what it is that you truly want if you don't know yourself? You know, so on the journey of self mastery of know thyself. You have to forgive your past. You have to forgive the pains. You have to forgive all the betrayal, the hurt um, that a person may have caused you. You want to forgive that because if you hold on to that baggage, whatever situation you go to in your future, you want to bring that with you. And what people don't understand is it really, it really speaks volume. So you want to heal your past. So that's very important when it comes to new love in your life, okay? Um, and as well as religious factors. So this day and age, a lot of people are different and it's okay. Like some people are still into religious heavy, heavily and some people are spiritual or, you know, have their own belief or practice and that's okay. But it could be a factor in your love life. So you may be meeting someone or even with someone that has a different religious background than you. 
Um, now, if you guys can communicate and it can basically be resolved and there's not no issues going forward, like then I say continue it. But when it comes to religious background, that could also be like, um, I ain't gonna say a red flag, but that could be like a deal breaker, okay? So you wanna make sure you speak to your partner about that, especially if it's like a long-term partner and you might wanna have kids in your future and stuff like that. Because sometimes we need to really think about our futures with that person. You can't just continue to live in a moment because problems will arise later, okay? So if you believe that religious factors may be a big deal when it comes to relationships, that's a conversation you wanna have, a, con a conversation you wanna have um, with your partner, okay? And then let your friends help you. So um, ask and accept help and support from others. So if you have people in your corner that's genuine, and then you know the ones that's genuine that do truly want your best interests and efforts, then you want to ask them questions to and love, you know. And the people that's closer to you know you the best, so you can always ask them, like, you know, you, you've you been with me through a lot of my relationships. How do you think I am in the relationship? Because sometimes you just got to be real with yourself because it's not always the other person. Um, in relationships, every party have, uh, uh, <laughs> every party plays a part. All right. So we just going, since we on the love topic, we're going to just continue it real quick. Thank you. Any additional messages when it comes to love for my subscribers watching this? Any additional messages, please? So the person may be your soulmate that's coming in, okay? So like I said, it's um you have the king of earth as well as the knight of water. So it's a lot of serious love energy. I don't really get game playing with this person that's coming in. I get someone solid that really want to offer you stability and love. Then they say that you make me better. So... If you're with this person, they're saying that you make them a better person. Or if you'll be meeting them soon, you will be making this person a better person. Sometimes, like I said, you be hit, like, first of all, like I said, you have the Midas touch at this moment. So, of course, you're going to be making everybody a better person, even yourself, okay? But believe in, believe in yourself. Twin flame. All right, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say, bro. That's all I got to say. This is a good love match. That's coming in or that you're currently in right now. So you got soulmate and twin flame, bruh. And you make this person better. That's just self-explanatory. This person is a divine connection that's coming in for you. So please treat it with care. And if you don't believe that you're ready for a solid commitment like that, just be honest. Don't play games, okay? Because that's karma as well. People don't understand. Karma's real, bro. Everything you do is karma. You either get good karma or bad karma. So... You might be hiding it from your partner, but it's not being hidden from the universe. I'm going to have a video of talking about the uh, universal laws. Anyway, um, so this has been the card of the last week, <laughs> the spondent. So right now you're currently growing. You have haters over here on the side looking at you, okay? But you're currently growing. You're in a growing state right now. Like I said, you have a lot of luck and abundance and beautiful energy coming in. The universe is blessing you. So you see the, the world right here and then all the vines coming up. The universe is currently blessing you. Blessing you at this time with love, with money, with luck with job opportunities like you are super blessed uh december 27th to january 2nd this is your week okay if you felt like none of the weeks in december was your week this solely is the, your week okay you are popping right now you are blessed we're gonna go to the money with that let's see any additional money messages for you any additional money or career messages because the world is yours you can have whatever you want at this time manifest all week Sit, sit in a room and just basically think about everything you want to come to light. Have energy and feelings behind it. Emotions. Like I said, make a wish. Right now is your money. Manifest. Make a wish. Whatever you want. Whatever you would like to come to light. So when it comes to money and, and career, make a wish right now because you are popping with this beautiful energy. Write down a financial plan and follow it. I feel like that's important for a lot of people because sometimes we just have money um, coming to us endlessly. With like we feel like money continuously come to us endlessly, but at the end of the day, like 
a lot of us get money but can't keep it so make sure you write it down a financial plan that you want to follow put yourself on a budget if you have to but literally just try to be more responsible with how you spend or how you handle money because money is energy too so you are what you think so if you think abundantly you will be abundant if you think broke or like down and out you will always be down and out change your thoughts all right so let's get a spiritual message for you <clears throat> relaxation okay spirit wants you to relax let your guards down with this nine of wands energy and relax Take some time to truly relax. Right now is the time for you to relax and just soak in all this beautiful energy that was meant to come your way. It's nothing wrong with relaxing, okay? You need to relax a little bit more. Okay, so let's see if Spirit has any additional messages to provide to you. Please, Spirit, any additional message to provide to my subscribers? Talk to your angels. Right now is the time for you to talk to your angels. You can even make an altar. Oh, an energy vampire is around... Be careful. Okay, so someone is around you. Probably this little person right here. <laughs> Someone's around you that's just don't have the best intentions for you. Okay, so be careful about that. I don't feel like it's your partner though. It's, it, I feel like another energy. Something that's trying to get your attention. Alright. So, this is what I'm feeling from the despondent. So something is trying to get your attention and energy vampires lurking. Be careful. I'm feeling like this is this person. So only you will know, but you may have someone in your energy or around you that don't have the best intentions for you. They see that you are glowing and growing and they want that. They want that energy that you have. You continuously rise into the top and they're still stuck here stagnant. The only thing they can do is look at you. So be careful with who you have in your energy at this moment. Truly look around your energy space. Look around your circle to see if you might even have a little shade for somebody close to you. Because if you if you thought about it and you can think of the person name, that's that person. That's that person hating on you hard. So something is trying to alert you about that person. Also, the angels is trying to get your attention. Your angels want you to talk to them more to get connected with them. Your angels want you to be more connected on a spiritual level with, with them. Your, your ancestors, your guides, they want you to talk to them. Okay? Um, also, just to let you guys know, I'm actually going to be having a new product coming soon. I'm going to say, I'm going to say mid-January is going to be your altar initiation kit so i know a lot of people want to start altars and things like that but they, they just don't know how to or where to start so in the kit i would have basically everything to pre-start your altar um whether it's a protection altar if you want a love altar or you want like a basic shock for altar i'll have those accessible for your needs um uh, and then you can add on to it as you need but i'll have the i'll have the basics for your altar work okay all right, my loves. So all in all, what's coming to you the week of the 27th to the 2nd is a lot of blessings is coming your way within the form of love as well as gifts, as well as new jobs, money, as well as possibly new projects. Um, just be careful for this energy vampire that is lurking. Um, don't juggle things too hard. Try to make a list and try to plan things accordingly. As far as the um, nine of wands energy, let that wind down, girl or guy. You for a hard fight and the universe is trying to bless you right now. Be careful with this love as well that's coming through. You want to nurture it because it's a twin flame or a soulmate that's coming through. You guys may have small challenges, but with communication, you could get over any hurdles that come your way. Talk to your angels. Get more in tune with your spirituality. And that's the message that I see for your, uh, <laughs> excuse me, your December 27th to January 2nd message. All right, y'all. So it's your girl, Crystal. Thank you for tuning in to the IC. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.